This segment is sponsored by Dennis Goins of DennisGoins.com. I am Lady Charmaine, and I am back with financial advisor, Mr. Dennis Goins of Dennis Goins & Associates. How are you doing today, Dennis? I'm doing fine, Lady Charmaine. How are you? Good. Now, how about those warriors? What do you think? <laughs> go Warriors. Go Warriors. I say it's very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, yes, it is. Very exciting. Yeah, so today we're yeah. going to be talking about getting it all together for retirement. And I know you're going to explain to us what are those things that we need to start thinking about and getting together for retirement. Thank you. Uh, as we know, a very important part of your financial life is retirement for most people. And the important thing is getting all the information you need uh, organized uh, so you can have it uh, when you get ready to retire. So we're going to talk about some of those things today and what you need to gather uh, together and get all the documentation that you need in one place. Uh, first of all, what should you put in there? Uh, and, and you should set up a file, whether it be a, an online uh, vault, cabinet, folder, or whatever, and put all that crucial financial information in one place so you'll know where it is when you need it. First thing you need is quarterly and annual statements uh, for your IRAs, your 401ks, or any brokerage accounts or whatever. Uh, you should have those statements in one place, uh, at least uh, the latest quarter, if you have or you need that, or at least the uh, previous calendar year uh, end statement. Uh, that's important uh, so you can basically uh, what we call do a retirement income analysis so you'll know how much money you have coming in from all sources from your retirement funds. Also, you should basically have all the passwords uh, that you need uh, if you have online access to your account. So. Uh, you'll have that all in one place so you don't have to scramble and get that uh, w w when it's needed. So obviously the, the quarterly and annual statements are important. Also health care benefit information. Uh, it's important to know what your health care benefit that you'll have <clears throat> upon retirement, what, what those are. Because a significant part of retirement expenses is health care. Uh, it's an estimate that two to $300,000 uh, over your lifetime uh, for retirement is needed uh, for your health care. So that's a significant uh, factor as far as expenses in retirement. So you need to know pretty much what uh, what your benefits are. Uh, have you enrolled in Medicare or uh, the Medicare Advantage plan? Are you in a group health plan for retirees? Uh, and, and, and more importantly, if you have to pay for health coverage, how much uh, will that be per month? So you can put that in your uh, in your budget. Uh, you should also have the contact information for your insurance companies, your HMOs, your doctors, insurance agents who sold you the policy. So you can have that information if you need to contact them to get more information about what your benefits are. Uh, you need this is a good time also to look at your life insurance information. Uh, if something happens, do you have you know term insurance or? you have a cash value, universal life, or a whole life policy, it's a good time to get all that information together, uh, not only for retirement, but, but anything within your life uh, lifetime so you'd know what those benefits are. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things, too, that is important, very important, is beneficiary designation forms. Uh, for pre-retirees, this is very important, particularly for your 401Ks, your 403Bs, and your IRAs. Uh, whatever is on the beneficiary form is who the individual will get paid for that. that. So a will or a trust or whatever cannot override the beneficiary statement that's on your 401k and your 403b. We talked about this a little bit before, where some previous spouses or previous significant others uh, got the 401k or IRA benefit. Uh, because they were on the beneficiary form, and insurance or an investment company is required to pay that beneficiary who is there on that form. So <clears throat> you want to make sure you update that, make sure it's the right person on there, mm -hmm. uh, so there's no un unfortunate situations uh, upon your demise. Social Security benefits. Uh, you need to basically make sure and understand what your Social Security benefits are. Uh, you can go to ssa.gov to find out the updated benefits. Uh, you need to basically understand that so you can factor that in. And that, again, is a key part of your retirement income analysis decide when you want to take the Social Security. Uh, you should check with your uh, financial advisor to talk about some of the benefits, the file and suspend 
uh, benefit is a very important part that I really discuss with my clients as far as basically delaying Social Security to a later age to get significant more money. But it depends on your situation. Uh, but that is a very critical part of at least knowing what those benefits are and when uh, you should file for Social Security. Pension matters. Uh, <clears throat> if you're receiving a pension, you need to basically understand what that pension is. I've had clients, <clears throat> when they're basically getting ready to retire uh, and, and find out that uh, some of them didn't even know they had a pension. I had a lady uh, about a year or so ago that came to me and found out she got a $300,000 pension. Of course, she was delighted to, to, to know that, but you want to know that up front. You don't want to be, you know, that's a pleasant surprise, but you don't want to, that, that, that's important to know. So you need to check and find out what your benefits are with your pension, if you have one. And more importantly, what's the pre-retiree death benefit? That's a big, big problem now for people <clears throat> that basically are not married that are cohabitating and do not have uh, basically kids, do not have uh, minor kids, a lot of companies on their pensions do not have a pre-retiree death benefit. So if you're working in a pension and expecting a big pension and you demise uh, before you retire, then there may not necessarily be a beneficiary for that pension. Mm-hmm. You need to know that. And more importantly, that significant other uh, needs to know that, that hey, you know, we, we have to take other uh, precautions to, to, to understand that and know that. But you need to know what your pension benefits are. Uh, check and get your individual benefit statement. That you know, your, your HR department should be able to provide that to you so you can at least see what the payout is, if there's a lump sum involved, but that's very critical. And you need to also ask for a summary plan description for your 401k and some of your other benefits to, to deal with that. It's also a good time to look at your real estate documents, you know, whether you have a deed, a mortgage document, Property tax savings, that's very important, particularly if you have a living trust. And obviously a lot of people set up a living trust to put their house in the living trust and uh, to avoid probate. Uh, and a lot of times the house is never titled to the trust or was taken out of the trust for refinancing or whatever reason. They never put back in. So it's important to look at those documents and to confirm that, hey, your, your house uh, and where it's titled to the trust or or whatever is important. That's a good time to do that when you start uh, gathering your retirement uh, documents. Uh, and also look at copies of your estate, uh, whether it be your trust, uh, will. Uh, make sure it's updated. Make sure it's current. And you have the loved ones that basically are, are getting, uh, you have the loved ones you want to receive your, your, your uh, parts of your estate. And also a good time, very important, to have uh, a dual power of attorney. Uh, a lot of times, uh, when you're not a sound mind and sound body, uh, you need a, a dual power of attorney so someone can cover your financial affairs upon your, uh, you know, your slight out of, uh, out of mind. A dual power of attorney is very important to do that. And you should consult an attorney about doing that. And of course, a healthcare directive is, is another issue to, to do that. You should also keep your tax returns, at least the previous calendar year there. Uh, that's important to know and have that in that one that one file. Mm. And of course, the list of your digital assets, whether it be your photos on the online and Facebook photo library, that's the value to a lot of people because it can have the image of you and your business and you want to make sure that you have that. So it takes a little work, uh, but you'll be glad you did it someday. And it's just a good planning uh, procedure to do that uh, for retirement. And, and I mentioned this is kind of the basic information you need to get a retirement income analysis. Uh, to, to really know where you need to be for retirement. So, information, again, you don't see in a billboard. You don't see it out there anywhere, but it's something that you're going to need. You should know. You should understand. You know, Mr. Goins, this information is so good when you say have it all in one place. We have a um, just one of those uh, portable... Uh, file cabinets for just in case I like if the house caught on fire if we had to leave you know immediately we have one of those it seemed like this information it'd be great not just even for retirement if something was to happen and you need to leave your home in a hurry because there's going to be a flash flood or something you know you could take this information with you and you have all those important documents in one place absolutely that that's a good that that's an alternative what we provide for our clients is an electronic document mm-hmm file vault, and, and they can access that electronically anywhere. And, and they put 
their tax return. They put their life insurance policy. Uh, very important that I advise them to put their passports in there, particularly if they travel, because mm-hmm. if you're traveling internationally and you lose your passport, uh, you know, you've got to be able to, you should be able to access it. And, and obviously you can access it via this electronic vault and it's very secure protected, but you need to have some place, some safe, secure place to put these key vital documents. So you don't have to search for it. And more importantly, you don't, it's something upon your demise, your loved one don't have to search mm-hmm. for it. Uh, and it's good. It's good to have that. Uh, it's just a good planning concept because you know you know you want to plan for the unexpected and you, it, there's enough stress as it is so you want to make sure you know you put your hands on it immediately but we provide that uh, as a part of our service for our clients electronic uh vault document and that and it's passwords and support uh and risk or, and, and doing that but yeah you should have it somewhere whether it be filing cabinet electronic vault whatever you need to have a, a safe place to store those documents and Mr. Goes, I just want to confirm what you said is so true because we experienced this personally. When my grandfather passed away suddenly, my grandmother couldn't even grieve because although everyone was coming to the house to give their condolences, she was down in all the closets downstairs under their little storage area looking for all of these um, important documents. So she really couldn't even greet the people that were coming to the house because she was trying to find the life insurance papers. She was trying to find all of those documents. So that is so true because my grandfather really didn't talk a lot and share a whole lot. Eventually she found them after we had ended up burying him. But the thing is she had to go through almost seemed like the entire house just to find the documents to see where he would have stored them. So thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, absolutely. And and one of the things that you mentioned there that I, I should really point to the listeners, particularly uh, the women, the wives, um, and one of the things we really stress is both the husband and the wife need to understand where all those key financial documents are uh, because, you know, who knows who's going to go first. And the, the most stressful time can be if on the, the unfortunate demise of either one. So each person, and, and sometimes that, that, that can be a conflict in the relationship, but the, the, the wife, and particularly now that more women are, are working, needs to be a key part of that financial decision-making process. Uh, because if one dies, I mean, you want the wife or the surviving spouse, or whether it be husband or wife, to, to, to carry on. And they can't carry on if they don't know where the simple documents mm-hmm. are. And, mm-hmm. and as we talked about before, you know, you, you try to go to the to the mortuary and, and get somebody buried, and if you don't have the cash and you have life insurance, but you got to be able to show that. Mm -hmm. that you've got that, and Mm -hmm. if you can't show that, then that's going to be a lot of added stress on that individual. So those are key things that happen, whether it be retirement or just normal financial planning. You you should be able to have and be able to put your your hand on that. And more importantly, the worst thing to do is you you, you go look for it, and you finally find it, and you find out you're not the beneficiary. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's... uh, you know, a person might be, yeah, so that, that can be a problem. So mm-hmm. you need to know now. So. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for sharing that information with us. And if people want to reach you, I know you always let us know you're on LinkedIn. Give them all of your um, social media addresses. Yeah, you, you can reach me at Dennis at DennisGoins.com. Uh, you can reach me on my website at www.DennisGoins.com. And, of course, my Facebook page, uh, Dennis Goins and Associates, and uh, my LinkedIn page, Dennis Goins and Associates. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dennis. You always give us some great and valuable information. Yeah, go Warriors. (laughs) Yes, go Warriors tonight. Yes. Thank you for listening. If you would like to learn more about financial investments, contact Dennis Goins at DennisGoins.com.